Here's the diagram where you have two axes. You have axis U and V. Then you have a force F, which is 150 Newton. Then we also know the angles between those two axes. That means we're looking at this angle. That's 105 degrees. Then we also know the angle between the force and one of the axes and that's 30 degrees. And the, the question here is to find the magnitude of the components of force F along the axis U and V. So we're looking for two components of the same force and <coughs> these components are going to be along this direction as well as along this direction. So you're going to have two components. One is going to be F in the direction of U. We call this as F sub U. You have another component that's going to be F sub V and that's going to be the component along the V axis. So to redraw this here The same diagram we have drawn. You want to find the. I mean, this is going to be similar to phase two. So what I just described, where you know the actual force, then you know the two directions. You know the direction which is along the U, as well as direction along the V and we're looking for the components of that force <coughs> along these two directions. Then <coughs> you follow the same thing I described as the diagram. That means you go to this point and then you draw a line just parallel to one of these axes. It means in this case it's going to be the V axis. And <coughs> that becomes your line then <coughs> your actual component this arrow so that's along the u axis that's going to become f sub u then the second arrow which goes from here to here that's going to become the component about the v axis and then we know these angles. This angle here was 105 <coughs> degrees. Then we knew this angle that was 30 degrees. And we just need the magnitudes of this component as well as the magnitude of the second component. So we use law of sine. So we, we know the magnitude so all we need is the direction. And <coughs> to use that, so this angle is 105, which means this angle between, let's say, going this way and this way, this angle all the way across. That's also going to be exactly the same angle as 105. Which means this angle here that will be 105 minus 30 or 75 degrees. Then 
to this line is parallel to this line and it's being connected by this line here so whatever is the angle here should be this angle here so that should make that angle as 75 degrees right So this angle by itself is going to be, this one here will be 180 minus 75 minus 30. So that's 180 minus 105, that's another 75. So that gives us all the three different angles for this triangle. Or another way of looking at this would be this angle here. I mean this is 105, this whole thing is 180, so that will be 180 minus 105, that's 75. Then this and this are parallel, is joined by this line, so these two angles should be the same. So that gives you 75, then you subtract with 180 these two angles, that gives you another 75. So either way you look at it, you get the exact same angle. And once we have angled the things get easier, I could say F of with this magnitude divided by the sine of 30 degrees, that's the angle opposite of that. <coughs> then we got F Q, this one here, then the opposite angle is 75 to get sine 75. Then we have the force by itself, that's 150, <coughs> and you divide that by sine of another 75. So we get F of U as 150 Newton, F of <coughs> sub 3 will be 150 sine 30 sine 75 and that comes out to be 77.6 Newton. So those are the magnitudes for two of the components. That has to do with the sign of the magnitude. If I use this as u, then, and we take this as the positive u direction, then this will be negative u, which is the opposite of that direction. So that's being negative u, then this magnitude, when it came out of 150, but you have to attach a uh, direction to it. So this should be really 150 with a negative Newton. Because this, the actual arrow is pointing into the, into the negative of the U direction. So <coughs> that's something you have to add when you write the answer for that. And if I look at that, the arrow going up and this direction is positive. So for this one, we don't need to make any change. We just add a positive, and I should take care of the direction. Any questions on this? <coughs>